Hey, it's Dr. Amanda with Street Smile Solutions, streetsmilesolutions.com, and today we're gonna go over a really frequent question that I get about when to use bite plates versus when to use bite ramps or bite turbos. Obviously, this is a fixed bite plate. It's a banded appliance. If you wanna know about that, go into my channel and search bite plate. Tons of videos, how to place it, how to cement it, how to clean it, um, different modifications. We have those, how to fit it, um, how to deliver it. And then this is your anterior bite turbo or bite ramps. This is completely different from posterior bite turbos used two different ways for two different reasons. Make sure you're using the right one for the right reason depending on what your goals are and what the malocclusion is and what your objective is or you're gonna get a weird bite. But in theory, these work the same ways, but whether or not I choose to use this or this depends on a few different things. So mostly, it comes down to, I recommend when you get started, if you have a deep bite and you're in braces um, and you're not sure which one to use, use some articulating paper and see where the contacts are. If your contacts are on the front teeth and not on the palate, which wouldn't mark, right? If, if you had some overjet, then you'd only have bite marks back here, but you'd have no occlusion here. If you have no occlusion here, this is not gonna work. It's not gonna work, right? you have to be biting on this in order for it to work. So then you use this, okay? But if you have occlusion on the front teeth, perfect. These will work just fine. And of course, these are free to make. Um, so free is always better than paying for something. So, but the benefit of this is you don't have to grind it off. This one, you have to grind it off. Um, this also loads the teeth. So if you have short roots, you may not wanna do that or sensitive front teeth or trauma or you know, a filling, this may, or a veneer, this may not be a good idea. Whereas this loads, this loads the forces more along the palate and the teeth, so it's a little more distributed. So it's not as uncomfortable as this, okay? So thanks so much for listening. Um, as always, if you're looking for any more information on this other stuff, I've got tons of videos on it. You can search within my channel or just contact us at Straight Smile Solutions or info at straightsmilesolutions.com, and we'll be glad to send you that content. And it's free. All right, thanks so much.